Okay, so now you check them out. Look at them bring, bring in that smoke. And there's okay, a nice so left. now yeah. you check them out. Him on the inside. Look at him bring, bring in that trying smoke. Trying to cover up. The box has to use his head, his legs, All right, look and at strategy these the entire time. Uppercut from Valenzuela, but then he pays look, the price. I want you to tell me. Trying to roll with the punches is Valenzuela. Mm -hmm. Did a pretty good job rolling with the punches, but that's right in front of Pitbull to have Pitbull walk him back. Look, see, he stands right there. Good spell here for Valenzuela, but then mm -hmm. he eats a left. Nice left uppercut again. That's a money oh, punch. Good now right take a look. cross from Valenzuela. Now that's all we need to see. Now, if I'm fighting against Chris, this kid, Cruz, what did he do wrong, right? The first thing that he did wrong is not only did he miss opportunity, but he continued to press. See, boxing is all about understanding how to box with your feet. The only thing he did the entire night was he boxed off of his front foot. He has no game plan B. That's the thing that they did wrong. What he missed, missed opportunities would be to pull the opposition back, right? But he chose to continue to press and walking into punches that the judges could not miss that he was doing. They couldn't miss that he was walking into punches. That was so obvious. So even though he had the opportunity, he threw hot, hard shots to the body and then tried to bring him up to the head every once in a while. It was so apparent that this kid does not understand boxing. He understands brawling. And you can't continue to keep the belt if you're a one-dimensional fighter. And I know this kid has a lot of fans. But the fact of the matter is, you don't box with your hands. You box with your feet. And the corner, they don't understand. They don't understand how to make that adjustment because they bought into just that style. They think they're going to break down any fighter that stands directly in front of them. And what happens is they buy into their own stuff. He's so tough. He's so gritty. He can bring the smoke. But the definition of boxing is hitting and not getting hit when you master the sweetest science. My mentors, you know, Coach Kenny Adams had won over 200 and. 76 or it was 267 or 276 people that have come through his program that have went on to become professional fighters and win titles on some level. That's what bar he set. And then coach Anthony Bradley came behind him and he took the amateur game to the next level by accruing more medals, gold medals than any man. He took his fighters to world games, Pan Ams, world series of boxing. He just kept them busy. And that's what his record is, right? And then mine, those guys collectively did over 300 medals in the amateurs. And then there, of course, everybody knows that Coach Adams is the blueprint of boxing. But what I decided I needed to do is collectively, they did over 300. By myself, I did that with teaching coaches around the globe how to win boxing and what's so unique about my situation is I taught coaches who didn't have a boxing background. They were working with their kids. They were working with youth centers. They were working with little cousins. I groomed the process so that people could learn it in a way that they could be straight out of the cra cradle and do it with brand new kinds of individuals. So when you understand boxing is a process, boxing comes in a system. And when you learn the system, you can simplify it. 